Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. Uh, this is my second series of the uh, Stock Martin Viewer Choice Stock Review. Uh, in this episode, well, we will be talking about PaySafe stock, um, but I hope you like it. But before we get started, if you can give me that thumbs up, the like button, it'll be shared with the YouTube community. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, the notification bell hit all so you can get all my videos. So the second company that we're going to be talking about of the viewer stock choice review will be PaySafe. But we'll start with this article from Investor Place. It is titled, Two Major Problems That Drag the Highly Ambitious PaySafe Down. Um, so it does have bold ambitions. It does have a lot of active acquisitions. So it has bought up a lot of company, but this does not necessarily mean success. So let's take a look at this company. The PaySafe ticker is PSFE. And so this stock is down 42% this year. Just looking at this year alone, it is down 42%, but it has a lot of potential, but we'll definitely talk about its potential, the good news, and also the bad news, the two big problems that it does face. So first let's talk about the good news on this stock. The good news is that do, they do have a wide range of online payment solutions. They do uh, online to in-store payments. Um, you can see that they do merchant acquiring payments, uh, alternative Omni payments. They pretty much are a bank um, solutions or trading solutions of online payments for companies out there. So there's definitely a need out there. They have been around for quite some time. It is not a brand new company, even though that it just recently went on the stock market, but they do have, according to them, they are a market leader of over 20 years experience and in the field of payments. So now let's look at the fundamentals of the company and see how it did on its balance sheet. We are gonna be looking at the Q2021 uh, financial earnings. It did have quite a bit of positive results, but it did miss a lot of expectations. So when we, whenever we do look at this, it looks like uh, for the expected revenue, it was expected uh, to earn between $360 million and $375 million. And analysts were uh, calling for the revenues to be a little bit more than that. They were expecting about $384 million. So this miss is a large role why the stock suffered more recently. Um, so we do definitely have to keep monitoring and keep an eye out on this stock because it does have some potentials. But let's see what the big main issues are with this company. So the two big things that are really preventing and um, putting the PaySafe stock down, number one is it does not have a lot of liquidity. Um, it has a liquidity problem. And what I mean by this is it does not have enough cash on hand um, because it has been doing a lot of purchases out there and its revenues have not been expected. So this stock does not have a lot of liquidity. This company does not have a lot of liquidity. And according to this article, let's take a look here. Um, now, a good liquidity number or ratio is 1, uh, 1.0 or higher, but PaySafe has a current and quick ratio of 0.22 times and a cash ratio of 0.05 times. And so these ratios are very, very low. And in fact, they are below the uh, accepted value of 1.0 times. So this does look like this company does have a lot of potential, uh, but it does have a lot of uh, you know debt. It has a lot of, uh, it, it doesn't have enough liquidity. It does not have enough cash on hand. And its growth revenue is not that good. It's not as expected. Whenever we did look at the Q2 revenue results, they did miss that number. So even though that this company does have potential and it has been around for quite some time, um, they have definitely not enough money and uh, they're not making enough revenue to really sustain this company. Now we are going to be talking about the stock, if it's a good buy or good sell, but according to Investors Observer, uh, PaySafe with the ticker PSFE um, has been trading at $8.18. Overall, it is below average when looking at all these other uh, companies in this same sector. Again, this is in a technology or an e-payment uh, sector, and it does have a below average overall rating. 
but its fundamentals do look quite well. Uh, whenever you do look at the likely earnings and growth rate of this company, it does have a huge potential. So whenever these analysts did review this, it does have a potential in the future to do good um, because this is a needed company out there. It is needed. But where it really falls is its short-term and long-term uh, analysis. So whenever we did look at the price of the stock looking at its volume, it did really underperform in its sectors. Um, it did go less than that 30% when compared to the other sectors. Now, whenever we look at the long-term technicals, they are very, very bad. And this is because this stock has really, really been hammered down and it's not been uh, good at all. And now let's look at the PaySafe stock. So in the past one day, it did end the day at $8.18. And this did have a quite a bit of a negative week. But it, if we go back and look in the past five days, we are down also 5.5%. We have had quite a bit, a bit of a sell-off on this stock. Now, in the past month, we did have that stabilization. It looks like uh, we were at that $8.30. But we have been on a downward trend because we have not really tested a new base or a new stabilization in this stock because we are still going on a downward hill. But if we look in the past six months, we are down a huge, huge amount. This stock has really been hammered. Um, it is down almost negative 48% uh, on this stock. We did have a high back in March uh, whenever the merger did go through. And this is originally from a, a SPAC company. It was a Foley Group SPAC company. And it did go from $16.15 and look at this huge sell-off. We did go down almost 50% in this stock. Uh, moving now to the PaySafe, the ticker is PSFE of PaySafe. Overall, it did get a, a 45, which is a below average ranking whenever it did get reviewed in its technology sector. Remember, it, uh, it does deal with the e-payments, e-bank, internet payments, online payments, and it is in the technology sector, and it is about below average on that. Now, looking at its fundamentals, uh, what fundamentals are, are the potentials for growing its growth rate. When we compare it to others in this area, if this company can do good in the future, if it does have fundamentals in the future to do good, they did rank 94%, which is quite good, which does outperform a lot of the stocks out there. But however, let's take a look at this. The short-term technicals, how has this stock been doing in the short term? So this is in the past 20 days of trading. How has the stock price and the volume patterns been looking? They've been looking very, very bad, but not only in the past short term, look at the long-term technicals. In the long term, this is in the last few months, this stock has really been hammered down and it's been uh, going down quite a bit. Now, analyst raking, uh, analyst raking, they do give it a strong buy. In this sector, they do give it about a 75% in this sector. Um, so there is a potential uh, to get this stock going up. Now, let me give you some idea on the analysts out there that will uh, show how this stock will do in the future. In the future, um, they do predict in the next 12 months that it will have a low of about $14 from this $8.18, which is a 71% upside from now. Um, with a high of $19 in the next 12 months, which does give us 134% upside from now. The median, the average of this is about $17 of these two uh, when you do average them. Uh, this should be a good stock to buy in the future. But what does worry me is that one article I just showed you, they do not have a lot of cash flow. They do not have a lot of liquidity. So I'd definitely be hesitant or keep a watchful eye on this stock. Next, I would like to review the tip ranks uh, pay safe uh, stock review. Uh, seven analysts do review this stock. All seven give it a strong buy, zero hold, zero sell. This gives us an average of $14.29 in the next 12 months, which is about that 75% upside according to tip ranks. Um, according to tip ranks, you also have these analysts that did review it that do give it a highest price target of $17 in the next 12 months. 
the lowest price target that uh, tip ranks gives it is twelve dollars in the next 12 months so again if you look at this stock right now you're so you do have that potential to increase your money with the lowest price target according to these analysts but the 52 week low on this stock is eight dollars and six cents but if you can get this under that eight dollars that would be my recommendation on this stock moving forward well, I hope you like this video on PaySafe. If you can, please give me that thumbs up, the like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. Also, if you can, share this video with others and this channel with others so we can grow it as a community. If you can share it with your family, your friends, your coworkers, that next door neighbor, I'd greatly appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links. One's for Webull. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.